Dear friends, welcome to my next research video. Today, let us discuss, can you publish out of your PhD area, uh, number one, or can you publish a part of your PhD thesis as a paper? Third thing, what is the actual requirement of the universities in India? See, first thing, can you publish out of your PhD area means, in general, yes, but at the same time, Please make sure that when you, what you call, diverse your focus from one area to different areas, probably you will not get a depth knowledge on your uh, particular research work. So, I would definitely advise you, if you can publish in uh, the area which are uh, beyond your PhD research work, which comes naturally means that's fine. But do not spend some, especially some time, quality time on that particular work, which no way it is going to help your PhD means it's a waste of time because you have to concentrate on your PhD work and whatever you do during the PhD time, it should help your PhD thesis, not something else. See, I, I agree that you can expand your knowledge when you do in different field, but that and all you can do only after completing your PhD, but when you are into the PhD, absolutely make sure that you are publishing only in your area. That's number one. Next thing, can we publish a part of thesis as a research paper? Because here I, I would say yes and no. How it is yes, how and no, let me tell you. First thing, absolutely you should uh, uh, publish uh, part of your research work, not exactly how you have done in your original PhD research. You need to change. For example, you did a, a holistic work, probably a part of work can be taken and, and can be published. Don't try to give the entire thing uh, in, the, in the research paper because you may not have something to add in your original thesis. So, I would advise you instead of going for 100 percent what you have done in your research work, publishing that a part of that work can be published. But if you take universities in UK and other parts of the western countries, they accept as it is even you can publish a part of PhD work that can be added as one of the chapters in a PhD also, PhD thesis. It is accepted there. But in case if you take in Indian context, uh, they may not accept exactly to add uh, that as a, as a chapter. Probably some IITs they accept to uh, know, add as a chapters, but not in normal universities. So, better you have only the portion of your work to be published in a paper. But make sure that all your publications during your PhD, uh, what you call, relies on, uh, rely on only your PhD area. Don't try to do something which is beyond your PhD area because your focus, you will be out of focus. So, if you want to change your field, you want to do interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary and all, you can do it after your PhD. In case your PhD itself, it is a transdisciplinary research or interdisciplinary research, then fine, you can go ahead publishing it. But whatever the thing, you have to make sure that your focus is only with your actual objectives of the PhD research, not beyond that thing. Okay. And what else if I publish something which is beyond from my PhD, will it be counted? Definitely, I would say that it will not be counted. Why? See, when you go on submit thesis, the university may ask you to have a two publications. That two publication must be from your research field not from somewhere else. See, and there are people, they take some random publication, they'll go and tell the university that I got two publications, shall I submit? No, because the research office will verify whether your papers are on your research area. So, that's very important. Don't try to do something which is entirely different from your field. Let me tell you an example. See, in English, if you take, we have a two broad categories of research. One is literature. Again, in literature, there are so many fields or subfields are there. But in broadly speaking, literature and ELT, English language teaching. See, assume you are doing PhD in English language teaching, but you have publications, good publication in uh, literature. Then how it will be related to our research? So, definitely they may not take. So, make sure that if you are doing uh, research on literature, you need to have a publications only in literature, especially with the subfield of your literature. Because again, literature, again, it is a very, very big, vast area. And ELT, again within ELT, you have to make sure that which particular subfield you are working on, you have to publish only in that particular thing. So, 
kindly make a note of it one thing is you can publish even uh, nothing wrong publishing beyond your phd area but still publishing within your phd area is always advisable the publication which are there in your phd area only will be counted when you go for phd thesis submission if it is something completely irrelevant papers you got even a very high impact factor wonderful journal peer reviewed superb journal but it may not be taken into account the reason because your research is something different but your paper publication is different that will become an issue and third and final thing because when you try to publish beyond your research area you are unnecessarily going beyond the scope of your research then you will not be able to really master your area then you are taking risk unnecessarily so up to the phd time better you restrict just to fence yourself within, within only phd research area and try to go depth into the paper and try to publish from your area only and one more thing do not publish the original exact essence into the research paper you publish only a portion of the paper in case you have got some questions exactly you have some different rules you please comment it in the comment box let me address you in the I'll, i'll answer you in the comment in case you want some other video also you can tell me let me post in the next time and till then bye from rajshekar and i'll catch you in the next wonderful video bye bye